you want to become an avocado farmer, but you have no idea how to plant an avocado. Well, don't worry. That's what I'm here to teach you. Hey, guys. I'm about to spy Kai. I'm Kai. And today we're back once again taking a look at how to make an image texture glow. I've seen a lot of people ask how to do this because it's, it's a little awkward because you need transparency. You need to make it glow. So let's get started. I made a video similar to this before in the past, but I'm going to go ahead and just drag my a box over top of the default cube and the lamp and hit delete. I'm at one on my numpad to go to the front facing view and hit shift A and we're going to add in a, uh, a mesh plane. We could also go ahead and just add in our image, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add it on a plane so you can see how to add an image onto an item and onto all that, you know, whatever. Else, da, da, da. So grab that R on my keyboard, X on my keyboard and nine zero on my numpad. Left click to confirm that. So now it's rotated perfectly. It looks great. Um, let's go to the material uh, shader tab here and hit this little drop down, add the material onto that. Um, and then where it says base color, I'm going to click this little yellow circle. And this is all pretty normal. We've done this before. Image texture. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit open and open up an image real quick. All right. And once I have my image, which is I'm just, I'm just going to use the Blender logo, um, we're going to hit open on that. And now you can see that uh, it looks a little weird because it's going to stretchy. So let's go on, we're just going to go ahead and hit SX and like un um, scale that so it looks, you know, a little more normal. Um, for the sake of today's video, there you go. Um, all right, so next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and split my window into two pieces by going ahead and put my cursor up top left and then just drag into the left, splitting that in half like right there, and then changing this little box right here to the shader editor, um, getting rid of that. And what we can do here is we can go ahead and um, drag this alpha into the alpha channel. And now we have, uh, you can't really see because, okay, uh, it's just gray. Um, hold on, let me, I had a lamp so you can see what just happened here. Um, all right, so it made it transparent as you can see now. So the image uh, is there instead of instead of it having a black background. It's it's just you know everything's transparent now. We can see through it. If I were, if I were to put a um a monkey behind it, you could see you oh you can see the monkey behind the words, which is great instead of how it was before, which was like that. So that's what that's good. That's step one. All right, but now the problem is, is that there's no emission happening. So if there's no lamp, as you, as, as you can see, you know, you know there's just nothing going on here. Like you know it's 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 kind of just you know bland and whatever else. So to make this thing kind of glow and emit light, we need to go ahead and do uh, one simple, simple, simple thing. Um, let's go ahead and open up this emission tab right here. And if you can, as you can see, if we were to put the strength up to one, it would start glowing. But the problem is, is that if I had a different image here, I'll show you. So if I was to have this bad boy, the Blender logo with some color on it, right? The orange, the white, the blue. If I was to have this, as you can see, if I just up the emission, it just makes everything the color that it says right here. So how do we fix that? I'm put it on one and it's just solid white almost, right? So how do we fix that? We go ahead and we take the color from the image texture and plug that into the color of the emission and then boom right there as you can see we have the emission working beautifully perfect so if i unplug it once again we have just the white color and if i try to make it like a color like i, I can make it orange and then like you know it, it's just gonna make everything the same color so instead of doing that like i said just plug the color into the color and there you go boom so now you can play with the strength make it brighter make it less bright one is a, is a pretty basic value i think one is just where you probably want to leave it um but it's still not glowing as you can see it's it's still kind of just it's not really glowing too much if i was to go ahead and render this grab our camera and then uh just kind of maybe uh camera to view and then rotate it and zoom it in a little bit if you if i was to show you the render of this as you can see it's not really glowing it's kind of just emitting which is nice but it's it's not really glowing yet so the way we can fix this is let's go ahead i'm gonna actually make my background um black for this go ahead and make it black and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and uh change this second tab over here so the second window over here i'm gonna change this to the uh compositor I'm gonna hit backdrop on that and also you hit use nodes. Now we have two nodes here, which is the scene layer, the render layers and the composite. The composite's basically just, you know, it rendering and then the render layers is basically what you're seeing over here. So in between these two, I'm gonna hit shift A and I'm gonna search for a glare node. Now the glare node's gonna put right there. And then as you can see, um, we have the ability to kind of change some things. Now let me open this up a little bit more. And we need to be able to see what we're doing real quick. So composite's just going to be what it looks like when we render it. We need a viewer node to actually see what it's doing. So let's, get, let's hit shift A and we'll search viewer like that. 
and alongside of the composite node, we'll plug that up as well. So we have the background now, which is why we hit backdrop on. We have the background so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna hit V a couple of times to zoom out just so we can see a little easier. And then we, we can go ahead and actually start changing uh, some of this, these settings. So in glare, I'm gonna change this from streaks to, uh, to bloom. And then uh, you can't really see too much happening. So let's go ahead and fix that by uh, going on down to uh, going on down to highlights and then changing the threshold down a little bit. And then there you go. Boom. You can see what's going on now. We can change the smooth as well. Make it a little less or more. I'll just leave it on zero. You can change the strength. Uh, you can change the strength down, of course, and turn the saturation down so it's like the, the glow is all white. You can make it so it's tint to the color. I can make it tint green. So it's, it's like glowing green. You know what I mean? I can tint it blue. So it's glowing blue. Um, all that whatever yada 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 so there you go there's all that stuff here um but yeah so that's basically how you do it that's that's good i'm gonna get a little bit of a little bit of a, a an orangish glow on there just because you know the logo itself is orange um we also turn the size up make it a little smaller a little bigger um i think somewhere in the middle is just a good place to be though so as you can see if we were to uh render this without the glare we would have that and if we put it on it looks like that so there you go has a nice little glow to it looks really really good and that's how you make an image texture glow ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye